Well, good morning and welcome to our daily encouragement. I'm Robbie Libra and I am the lay leader of the River Street Campus. It is so good to be back with you today. We are talking this week about the commands that Jesus has in our life. We talked about the command of love one another. Love, love your neighbor as yourself. We talked about Jesus' command telling us to pray and pray often. And today we're going to look at another very important command that Jesus gave us, and that is to go and to make disciples. Read in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. He says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is a direct command like that that a parent would do when they would command their child to maybe get out of the middle of the street. And, you know, there is no no plan B when, when you do that. You, you tell your kid, get out of the street. And that's what Jesus is saying here. He, he's saying, go and do. You know, go and and make disciples. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. That's what he said in, in Acts 1, 8. This command of the Great Commission is given three different times. Twice in the Gospels of Matthew and Mark and, and once before the... Uh, the ascension and, and acts as we just talked about so this is particularly important to Christ and any command or statement that Jesus ever gives more than once is always held in super importance for us and we're being told to go make disciples of all nations in this command to, to teach them what Jesus teaches us to go into the world and make his disciples and and it doesn't mean that we have to go across the world to do it no we, this this could be right next door this could be our neighbors these are the people in our community the people that we work with the people that we see each and every day and even those that we don't go and make disciples how do we do that? Well, maybe it's that we go and we help them out in some way. Maybe we deliver groceries for them or, or do something like that. Maybe it's just that we're kind to them. Maybe, maybe we show them a little bit of compassion when nobody else is or maybe just a simple hello. There's many ways that we can make disciples for Christ. We don't necessarily have to hit somebody upside the head with a Bible in order to do that. The way we treat people, the way we act to people, the way we show love and compassion for people most of the time is a perfect starting point for making a disciple. We don't have to force them into church. We don't have to force them into a Bible study. Those are all great things to have as a part of our life, but they're not things that we have to force upon people for them to be a disciple. No, for us to make disciples, we have to, well, we have to do what Jesus did. We have to show love. We have to show compassion. We have to show concern for those that are around us. So go out this week. Go out today. Make disciples of Christ. Make disciples of Christ by showing love, showing compassion, by helping out someone else. That whole loving your neighbor as yourself thing, that's how you make disciples. Jesus knew that. That's why he talked about all of this so much. I hope you have a great week. I hope you go out and I hope you make disciples for Jesus Christ, for the transformation of the world.